you're resourceful. That machine, a robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. And you always will be there. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here. Courier left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander.
Met. Welcome to the bloated float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. There's a room all right. There's a room all right, and a fine room it is. Yours for the night for only ten gold. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. The room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. Yes? Where did you get that? That's good. Where did you get that? That's good. Don't try. Remark. You're wasting your breath. That's <laughs> well done. That's just don't talk such rot. Don't try to min. I wish I could say that. That's just <laughs> that's really funny. Excellent. Farewell. Hey, who in oblivion are you? You don't look like one of the Blackwater brigands. What? I was told there are only two others on board. I locked the bouncer in the storage room, and she has the owner. So that leaves you. Now I'll ask again. Who are you? There's no one else in our group except the four of us. The Blackwater Brigands don't just take on new members out of the clear blue sky. When we formed the Brigands three months ago, I was told no more than a four-way split on all the profits. So stop telling lies and tell me what you're doing here. Then perhaps my sword can find the words that your mouth cannot. Let's get this. Ah. Yeah.
Thank you for freeing me. I'm Graman Gramarad, the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman. I've been locked in that storage room for hours. I don't know exactly what's going on, but not long ago, a gang of thieves calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands stormed the ship. They took myself and Normal, the float's owner, hostage and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. If you can get me safely to the top deck, I can steer the float home. But I'm not budging until the coast is clear. I'm used to dealing with drunken louts, not a gang of well-armed thieves. All I know is there seems to be four of them. Good luck, you'll need it. Hello. Why? Ah, what are you doing up here? They find the golden galleon yet? Orders? Celine didn't tell me about this, and I don't remember her taking on someone else to help us find the golden galleon. When did all this happen? 
Damn that woman. She promised a four-part split when we recovered the Golden Galleon. She never said anything about splitting it five ways. She said when we got back to the safe house in Breville, we would divide the loot after she fenced the damned thing. Do Lynch and Minx know about this? Well, since they're out of the way, if I kill you, that means Celine and I split the take two ways. This heist is getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this over with. Sounds like the coast is clear, so I'll make my way up to the ship's wheel. But I'm not moving this hulk an inch until Ormil is safe. I thought I heard an Imperial woman's voice while I was blindfolded. Other than that, I don't know much more about her. The float has three decks. This... Be cautious. Their leader sounds dangerous. in here. Roth? I told him to guard the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? <laughs> we made a solemn pact not to let anyone else join the gang. I can remember it clearly, even though it was... What? Can no one in this gang keep things secret? I suppose you think you know why you've taken over the bloated float as well. Huh? How did you know about that? No matter. Once I've taken care of you, we'll scuttle the ship and be off to our safe house. No one will find us there. Uh, again you have surprised me with your knowledge of our operation. I suspect Lynch didn't check all the in rooms before we departed. You must have been hiding down there and made your way up here. How did you get past Minx, Roth and Lynch? Impossible. You defeated the three of them alone? I, I'm humbled by your skill and fear that assaulting you would lead to my own quick demise. Please accept my surrender. Here's my blade. Please, no treasure is worth my life. The bloated float is yours. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. I feared that I'd be thrown to the slaughterfish. If you get Selena safely locked up, I can tell you all I know. I won't feel safe until you do that. I've already surrendered. What more do you want? I'm your prisoner.
Thank goodness you arrived when you did. I feared that I'd... Now that she's surrendered, please escort her to the last room on the inn deck. We'll lock her in there until we arrive at port. I've nothing more to say to you. Now that Celine is locked up safely below, I think we can all breathe a little easier. I can't thank you enough. Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. I fashioned a tale about a golden galleon that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers and adventurers looking for the treasure. What could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? My business has increased quite a bit since I leaked the story. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Anyway, sorry to ramble. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely at the Imperial City docks. Celine no longer holds the bloated float. Once we get to the Imperial City, I intend to make sure she is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Please. Go get some rest. You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Celine. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here, of course. Farewell, my friend. Where to? Piper. So, you know, going over it in my head, that whole conversation we had where I pretty much said you were my only friend, did that sound nuts? No. It was nice to hear. You just always know what to say, don't you? It's just been a long time since I've had someone like you in my life. Hell, might be I never did. I just... I wanted to say thanks. I really don't think I could ask for a better friend. 
It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? Is it so hard to believe that someone could fall for you? Well, no, no, but I don't exactly feel like you've seen me at my best thus far, Blue. I mean, how many relationships established in a hail of gunfire actually work out? Would you really want to end up with someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Your arm's still attached, I think. No 
code is password. One if I land. Nah, that's not it. For the Commonwealth. God darn it. Oh, it's been a long time. United we stand. Yeah, that was it. Explains all the landmines. This is, well, was General McGann. He had your job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Ah, uh, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. Ah, guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. There's no point in getting all sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on, we're almost through. See what kinds of goodies are left. Excellent. The armor is still intact. Everything we need is just waiting for us. And the cream of the crop. Schematics for building artillery. Artillery? Great big guns? Blow up our enemies from miles away? Any of this ringing a bell? All right, let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. Excuse me. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery built, we'll do a test fire to calibrate it. Hey, 
Shoot. Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Are things all right between us? I'm with the person I love. Helping those in need. I couldn't imagine a better life. Your thoughts? I can always count on you, can't I? Your thoughts? Can't keep anything from you, can I? That was all I had. Sure. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay safe. <clears throat> ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. So here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. General, if you can hear me, we're ready. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area and we'll start the test fire. your smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. Yeah, you know, just in case. Artillery support. Use it wisely, General. might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? 